Okay, take two. Uh, kind of ended, I think I was talking about the microwave. Sorry about that, my phone battery died. So uh, the thing about this microwave is um, not only is it the convection style, but it also is um, a wattage that is going to allow you to run off of the batteries. Uh, the 2000 watt inverter is powerful enough to run your microwave when you're not hooked up to shore power. So that's, that's, that's nice. So if you're boondocking a little bit or if your generator, you don't want to turn the generator on for whatever reason, you can't actually run the microwave off the inverter alone. So that's pretty cool. Um, fridge right here, 12 volt fridge. You do have a small drawer here. It's not the biggest fridge, but you know, that's, it's a B van. It's good size for a B van, I think. I especially like the fact that the freezer space is a little bit bigger. Um, comes with the world's smallest ice cube tray. So, I mean, if you want to make ice cubes that are about mm, the size of your thumb digit, you can do that. Or you can just buy your own and put them in there because it's nice and big. Uh, fridge, I don't remember if I said that or not. It is 12 volt as well. So, coming back to the bed area. We got the bed stowed up at the moment. And I did measure that for you. And I'll, I'll tell this to you in the email. But the space is going to be 35 and 3 8 from from wood panel to wood panel 35 and 3 8 and then from the underneath side of the bed frame when the bed is down uh, to the floor is 31 and a half inches so it is plenty big enough um, i've got kind of a small dog but we have a big cage for him and this is plenty big enough to fit a rather good sized cage for the dog right here underneath of the bed <clears throat> Now most of your components and whatnot down below, as far as your electrical stuff, uh, batteries, uh, water pump, a lot of that is actually gonna be underneath of what your bed space is. So you can see that there's screws here for access if you need to do any kind of maintenance or whatever, but for the most part, there's not a lot of storage underneath the bed, save for this, uh, there is one drawer right here. Um, and then you have a couple little cubbies over here Here's your uh, fuse box if you ever need to get into there. And then these come in and out. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, the little covers, but it will hold stuff in there. And there's little clips right here for it to hook onto. You got another one of those right there. This ideally is where I would probably put my power cord um, and my hose as well. Um, just put the hose in a bag, put it right there. This is the power cord that's gonna come with it. It's a smart plug. It is uh, 15 feet, I believe. I could double check that for you. Um, but these plugs are great. Uh, you're gonna never have any kind of power drop when you plug into your RV Just by the way that it's designed and it clips in too So if you you know stumble across it It's not gonna just like pull out and kill power to your RV all of a sudden it, it's not going anywhere It stays in there pretty solidly Above the bed uh, like I said you got two storage lockers over here There is a little bit of a pass-through element there there if you need you got something that's a little longer and skinnier Again, those same big old hinges. Love those hinges. You do have a control panel right here. This actually also comes off and you can take it around with you. You don't necessarily really need to, especially considering the fact that you can actually basically run everything in here from your cell phone. Uh, you hook it up to Bluetooth and you'll have all the functionality that you would have uh, on any of your other controller pads. And then there is the multiplex control pad up front that I'll show you too. I kind of think I breezed by that. Um, so yeah, more storage, exact same on the opposite side of the bed. Let's see if I can do this part with one hand. I can't, so I'm gonna put the phone down for just a second. Okay, so I've got it lifted up with my one hand. It's really simple. Just folds right down. You can see it locks in right there. There's several points where it locks right in. And then the mattress just flips over and folds out. Boom. Nice bed, plenty big enough for two people. Now you might be asking yourself, well, that looks a little bit high. How am I supposed to get in and out of bed from there? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Down below here, this drawer, is actually built flush right to the floor so this is a step step right on there and you just get yourself right up into bed inside the step it's a little cubby put a dog leash or something in there and then you guys obviously have a dog so that's the first thing i thought about that'd be handy for and then you got actually a little bit more pantry storage here too 
Uh, the shelves are adjustable, so you can move those up and down, any configuration that you see fit. You can see there's little um, nubs about every inch and a half or so to move the shelves up and down. Oh, and then you guys will love this. This is cute for the pets. There's one more, this uh, thing down here. Dog bowl. Kind of cool. Food and water. These come out if you want to take them outside for your pup. But it's just kind of a cute little thing that they did for, for pet owners. Or you can take that whole thing, the whole plastic tray comes out of there and just use it for extra storage. I'm gonna scoot back up to the front. So here's your multiplex screen. This is gonna run everything from your heat, your water heater, uh, tank pad heaters, um, automatic generator start, uh, your fans, your lights, everything electrical in here, you can run from this little guy right here. Uh, and then also, like I said, you connect your phone to it. You don't even need to stand up. It's right there for you. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you that or not, but that's the speaker we were talking about. It is spring loaded, so push a little button up here, comes right out, take it with you on the go. Pretty cool. So I think that's just about everything for the inside. Um, oh, well, there was one more thing. Screen door, fully enclosed. When you got your side door open, you can have this completely protected and have air flowing through here. When you combine that with your open door in the back and your overhead fan, if you're in a place where you don't need to run your AC, you're gonna keep air flowing through here very, very nicely. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can have your doors open and get the fresh air in you if you'd like that, if you're that kind of person. I am personally, so. I think that's just about it, guys. Um, if you have any other specific questions or if you want me to take a closer look at anything in particular, just let me know. And, uh, you know, we can hop on a video chat like we were gonna do yesterday, but this should probably show you just about everything you need to see. And like I said, you know, you need to see anything else a little bit more closely. You let me know and uh, we'll get back on the video and go from there. Hope you guys have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, remember, this will be the only one that we get before the price hike goes up on the Ram chassis. So at the, I think it's 134000 right now. Next one we get in is going to be closer to one sixty. So just keep that in mind. And if you guys want to get rolling on it, $5,000 deposit will get you going. Hope that answered all your questions, guys. Uh, I look forward to seeing you, hopefully, and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Bye-bye. Stay warm up there.